For just about all of us, owning a professional sports franchise is about as lucky, likely, as hitting the lottery. But if you've ever sweated over the stats, faced your friends, and battled week in and week out, you know that winning is no fantasy. Tuners reporter Nathan Edwards captured the fantasy football craze and joins us live. Well, Max, tonight things are quiet. The stat sheets, player bios, and injury reports are tucked away as fantasy drafts come to an end. But as we learned earlier tonight, live drafting with friends, food, and drinks is the perfect way to kick off the NFL season. Building your team can be a meticulous process. Spending the offseason gathering stats and scouting your favorite players all leading up to this moment. Um, it's exciting. It's nerve-wracking, you know. And plus, I know that the next uh, 12 weeks or so are going to be pretty involved as far as checking up on it day to day. Many fans play every year, but for some, this is a new experience. I love football. I've been a football fan for many years, so this seemed like the next natural step, I guess. According to the Fantasy Sports Trade Association, there are more than 33 million people playing in the U.S. I, I was shocked this year because last year we had half this, the fantasy draft parties that we have this year. Here in Tulsa, at just one Buffalo Wild Wings location tonight, four fantasy leagues held their drafts. In August alone, 60 different live drafts happened here. Radio City Music Hall on a much smaller scale, all a fantasy team owner needs. And it's just fun to get together and give each other a hard time and have a good time talking football. Something these dedicated fans look forward to every year. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm, I'm destroying these guys. It's actually depressing, but they're nice guys, so. <laughs> now, while many of these fantasy football leagues are free, many people do put down money as a wager. According to national experts, over $1.7 billion are spent in league fees each year. Reporting live in Tulsa, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.